That's the fight right here. Yeah. Get ready for three rounds in the EFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist with one win and one loss. He stands at six foot three, weighing in at 248.8 pounds. Fighting out of Durban, South Africa. Welcome, Boyka, the undisputed Kabangu. And now, introducing his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. A kickboxer with one win and no losses. He stands at six foot three, wing in at 245 and a half pounds. Fighting out of Pretoria, South Africa. Welcome, Justin Clark. Your referee for this bout, referee Brad Block. Third man inside of the hexagon will be Brad Block. Boyka Kabangu. What a monster. Take it on this man, Justin Clark. Who's going to take the next step tonight? Round one is brought to you by Dragon Energy Drink. And we are on in the black. Justin Clark in the gray. Boyka Kabangu. Clark backing up Boyka straight away. Coming with a beautiful jumping knee. Does Justin Clark. Goes hard with the left eye roundhouse. Kabanga's coming forward with some big strikes. That was a big left. Clark closes distance and clinches up though. Goes for the body. Goes for spinning back. Back fist, but eats a nice left from Boyka Kabangu. As he does so, Kabangu waited for him to turn around before he shot out with that left don't blink trying. ladies and gentlemen do not blink because this one's going to end nastily i'm going to make that premonition i'm going to make that prediction i think it's going to happen i feel real good about it He's still just in controlling the space it's backing off just a little bit Kabangu. Goes for the lower leg kick. Some big shots from Kabangu. Justin Clark's covering up. Kabangu's looking for the knockout. Nice big shot from Justin Clark with that Ooh, right baby. in reply. They're both swinging and missing. One head is going to roll at some point. That was a nice shot from Clark. Kabangu's on the back foot a little bit. He catches the kick. Goes down low with a leg kick. Does Clark. Nice left from Kabangu. He's coming yeah, forward. Kabangu takes one right to the back of the head there. And here comes Boyka. He's throwing wildly. Justin Clark has to slow him down, and if he can, he may have a big advantage. Some nice uppercuts from Kabangu inside the clinch. Clark's holding on at the moment. Nice right from Clark. Kabangu comes up with a big left and goes for that uppercut again. Nice big right for Kabangu. Clark is back up against the fence, turns his opponent back in. He's got one underhook on the right hand side. How's Justin Clark? I think he's a. Well, Bradbury Brad Block's calling it up. He's this calling it up. It's over. Justin Clark is looking in wonderment and wondering why. I think it was the banker said he couldn't continue or he was hurt. Stop the fight. Almost stopped himself fighting. This happened. I'm very confused. I don't know if it was because Boyka Kabanka just stopped fighting or he pulled out in pain or is there some kind of way in which the referee Grand Block thought that he was unable to continue. You can see he was holding his right flank was Kabangu. And I don't know if it's because one of those, one of those body shots, but uh, we'll have to take a look at the replay and we'll see if we can get some kind of clarity. Wow, but, this uh, is uh, very surprising. And we are going to have to watch this a little bit closer because it ha as it happened, it didn't seem very clear cut. I can see if I would replay and see if it was. Meanwhile, I'll see if I can get hold of her. I got an official, the case sign is kind of explained yep. to us. We didn't hear it in a minute. But, uh, boy, here we are, folks. Let's take a look at the actual replay and see if we can get some clarification. Black you by Makuru. Well, what we're hearing is the proceeds getting the information just coming in now. It says it was a verbal submission. Let's see if we can take a look. Both fighters bring it to me. You could see there, he was talking to the referee there. And he's holding his side, holding his flank. Coming forward, big strikes, he's coming back, going down to the body. 
Elbow is very promising. Justin turned it in. And you see massive firepower. I mean, just huge shots by both men. They were hanging in there together. Nobody had a decided advantage. It looked like a combination of he could see to his side. I, I don't know. It's not very evident from this replay, but hopefully we'll get a little closer. We're going to get that at some point. And his boy could swarm in with punches and bunches. Justin's covering up. A nice right that got through behind the guards. He could covered up and pitched well. The, the, the knee to the mid rip. I don't think that was the one. Was he just trying to call time out? He was uh, complaining about something to referee Brad Lock very specifically. The Brad then interpreted as a verbal submission. Go get your Sherlock Holmes on there, Simon. Figure something out. And let's throw it up to Votso Bilal Romobo for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Brad Block has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute and 53 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by tap out due to verbal submission in the blue corner, Justin Clark. Justin, a very interesting victory. Just talk us through the end from your point of view. Uh, absolute confusion. <laughs> No, I was a bit sad at the end of that way. I um, mean, it was coming in strong. I was riding it out the storm. And I was starting to settle in. I was like, hey, cool, get my game plan. And really start pushing forward. But unfortunately, uh, we didn't have enough time to get there. He swarmed forward with some very big shots. But you said at the press conference here at the World Sports Betting Arena that if you can hang with Jukas Dupasi and you can hang with, ha hang with Mark Hume, you can hang with Boyka Kabanga. And you did that. But he was coming forward with some big shots. But you weathered the storm. It was, but I mean, I get hit harder with 16-ounce uh, gloves on on a daily basis. So I was, as I said, I was riding the storm and I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to settle, let my nerves settle, let my shoulders relax and then come forward. And um, unfortunately, as I said, I never got the chance to showcase that. The only disappointment in not showcasing is the fact that we never get to see you go past the first round because you're putting all these guys away. What's next for you? Because we want to see more Justin Clark here. Uh, EFC 116 in August. I'm down with that. Congratulations, your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Justin Clark. So there it is. I mean, it seems like there's a lot of confusion uh, on Justin Clark's side as well. Obviously, very happy to come out with W and and to keep that streak alive. We know Justin Clark is an absolute force, and before you know it, he may be face to face with one of our uh, champions here. But that was uh, very confusing. We'll try to get some more clarification.